Hi, Maria here and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about Dolce & Gabbana's The Only One versus The Only One Intense. I want to tell you my thoughts, but before I do that, if you haven't subscribed yet and you're joining me for the first time, welcome. Please feel free to subscribe. Please feel free to hit that notification button and give me a thumbs up if you're so inclined. Now, my good friend Lori, she gave me this, uh, she's always giving me like sweet little gifts. So uh, she gave me this travel spray size of the only one and I had a mini one of the intense so I thought I would talk about the two tell you what the similarities are differences all of that good stuff so let's start with the only one um, now when you first spray this yeah you definitely get that a little bit of fruit like you notice that citrusy fruit just for a few seconds uh, and you like it kind of stays fruity floral but what I notice once it's dried on the skin, just even for a few minutes, is you definitely smell the caramel. So you get that caramely sweetness. I'd say it leans more fruit uh, than floral, but you can definitely notice that floral in there. Uh, but you get that caramel right off the bat. So the, the intense one, when you spray it at first, the first thing that I notice, well, first of all, I thought, what is that boozy goodness? Because it just has like, it, it's, I noticed the coconut right away and it's like this creamy, amazing coconut, but it smells like rum or something like that. And I'm like, what the heck is that smell? I just love it. Like I could sniff it all day. And so as it turns out, I looked up the notes and it's green apple. So I don't notice the orange in this one at all. It's pretty subtle in the only one as well. You, you notice a fruit, but you, not necessarily the orange. Like, you know, it's a little bit orangey, but not really. This one, I don't smell the orange at all, but I do smell the apple and I love it. Now, I'm not a fan of the DKNY, um, you know, the Be Delicious or whatever apple perfume they have. Never liked that at all. In fact, I thought to myself, I don't ever want to smell apple in a perfume until I smelled this one. I love the smell of this, this apple note. It's great. So after they've been on there for a while, um, like as they dry down, like the longevity for both of them is actually excellent. So uh, I've had these on since eight in the morning. It's now after two. Uh, and I can smell both of them still on my wrist. So uh, definitely a long lasting. Although I would say as far as longevity, the intense definitely lasts longer. Now, uh, when they dry down, the only one, it uh, definitely you pick up that caramel and it's you notice the floral a little bit more. So you get that florally uh, caramel vibe and that caramel and the van vanilla stays on it. So it stays relatively sweet throughout. The intense one, uh, as it dries, you you still get, uh, I it must be the apple that stays there. You get a little bit of, I can smell a bit of jasmine, uh, but I that coconut just comes out. It's, it's just this creamy, uh, delicious coconut, like seriously. I love the smell of this thing. It just smells so great. So uh, I would say that uh, this one, um, when it when it warms up, and even to begin with, but especially once it's been on your skin for a while, the intense kind of reminds me of the Bath and Body Works candle uh, that's called Leaves, I think it is. Usually comes out in the autumn. So you can smell a little bit of apple, a little bit of spice, uh, and and that, that warmth and that's what I get from this. It's the same somehow same sort of vibe uh, Even though this has coconut in it. I don't find it overly tropical. I find it really warm and comforting So as far as the two are concerned the top note that they share is orange So this one is Italian Mandarin. This one's orange uh, Their middle note that they share is orange blossom and the base note is vanilla now that said I would never think that these two are related at all. So if you're wondering, oh, I've got this one, should I get this one? If you like coconut, absolutely. They're completely different in my opinion. So uh, definitely you, it's not being redundant to have both in your collection, I don't think at all. Um, as far as which one I prefer, 
Can you guys tell me which one I, I prefer? I'm pretty sure you can. I definitely prefer this one. This one's nice. I like it a lot. Uh, but this one, I'm just addicted to that apple coconut mixture. I, it, it, it's just, it does something for me. So really like it. And I think what I like is when it, like I said, when it warms up, I almost get, it. it's not a cinnamon, but some sort of spiciness in. So it smells like kind of a rummy coconut drink. So yeah, that's where we're left with. I, I'm into this one big time. This one, I get more apple than floral. So I get more fruit than floral, but with that coconut base. Uh, and this one has kind of a rummy coconut vibe. Uh, a little bit of spiciness, a lot of creaminess. This one, this one is definitely, this one has the floral for sure. Uh, and you get that, that caramel throughout. So depends on what you like. If you like caramel, go for this one. If you like coconut, go for this one. As far as which one I would prefer, I think you kind of guessed which one I like. I like this one. If you guys have one or the other or both, tell me which one you like best. Do you like the only one? Do you like the intense better? Do you like both equally? I would love to know in the comments. I, I guess that's all I have to say. Um, so have an amazing day and we'll talk to you soon.